Yesterday's attacks in Saskatchewan are shocking and heartbreaking. My thoughts and the thoughts of all Canadians are with those who've lost loved ones and with those who are injured. This kind of violence, or any kind of violence, has no place in our country. We're still, of course, monitoring the situation closely, and we urge everyone to follow all the updates from the authorities. The priority is keeping you and your loved ones safe. So please be careful. Uh, if you see anything, if you have any information, please call 911 uh, to share that. I reached out to the James Smith Cree Nation leadership earlier today, had a good conversation with the chiefs. I also spoke with Premier Mo of Saskatchewan to highlight that the federal government will be there with the resources necessary right now in this time of crisis, but also will continue to work as partners uh, in the uh, weeks, months, and years to come uh, through grieving and healing. Ministers Miller and Haidu are also closely engaged uh, with the community and its leadership. I want to, of course, thank the first responders uh, for stepping up, for being there in the community. But to everyone affected from this tragedy, I know how incredibly overwhelming and distressing it can be. If you need someone to talk to, you can visit hopeforwellness.ca to get information on how to access the support you need. As a show of solidarity, all federal buildings in Saskatchewan have been lowered, and the Peace Tower flag has also been lowered to half-mast. Sadly, over these past years, tragedies like these have become all too commonplace. Sask Saskatchewanians and Canadians uh, will do what we always do in times of difficulty and anguish. We'll be there for each other be there for our neighbors, lean on each other, help grieve and help heal. We will continue to do that and all Canadians will be with you in this difficult time.